What is good, Greg Gang? We're here. We have some bad news. So, as you know, uh, not too long ago, I had surgery, right? And over the time while I had the surgery, I had something go out and kill three out of my five chickens. Now we have one. Oh, my gosh! We're getting hit every day, boys! But this time, we know it literally exactly what it was. We, uh, we for real, we have one chicken left, and I don't even, I think that's Bonnie. Poor little Bonnie. She never liked me. As you can see over there in her corner, she's actually laid three eggs so far. I actually had to put her back in the chicken coop, guys. Put her back in the pen. Lock the door and everything. I've not locked them up in here for a while, so there's fresh grass, which I guess that's kind of, that's definitely good for her. She's definitely not going to wear down the grass anytime soon, but the bad thing is that she's alone. This isn't good. So let me tell you what happened. So I was out at the pawn shop, you know, making some deals, buying a Mosin Nagant. I'll show you later. Oh my god. Oh snap, man. <laughs> it has been confirmed. But anyways, I was out at the pawn shop. I get a call from my mom. She's like, Kendall, dude, where are you at? There is a, a broski looking fox running around and it has your chicken in its mouth and it's trying to get the other one. Now at this point, I only had two chickens. I had those two black hens. At this point when she called, I only had one left because the other one was in a red fox's mouth. Right, it was 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Right in the middle of the day, broad daylight. This was like two days ago. So then I come out here and I look around. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. But anyways, <laughs> I found its tracks. Its tracks are right there, man. We'll look at them. But then I come back home. I mean, it's too late. There's only one chicken left. But now that I came through here, I looked over in this little muddy spot. Here's his stinking tracks. Are you stinking kidding me? Like for real, dude. That's... That's if you're wondering what a red fox track looks like, that's it right there. They're kind of pointed at the front because their their paws are super furry. They're super quiet, light step. That's a fox track. That's about as perfect of a fox track as you get. About the right size. There it is compared to my thumb. Pretty small thing. But then I looked over here somewhere. Here's something bigger. That's something bigger. That's that's not a that's not the fox. That's not the fox. So surely to goodness, man, we don't have two predators out here because this is a different one. This one's a whole lot bigger, see, compared to my thumb. Keep looking, keep looking. Oh my goodness. You are kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, that's a cat. That is a cat. I would say it was a bobcat, but I actually know that's just a random house cat around here. It's a random black one. It just hangs around here. It ain't mine. I don't even know what it's doing. But that's a cat. That one over here, the small one, is a red fox. Oh my goodness. No, that's the cat again. Never mind. But I tell you what, boys. I, if if we ain't got every predator in the book right here, I don't know what we have. And now I know Sheba walks around here, but Sheba ain't gonna hurt nothing. But anyways, guys, long story short, we got a fox. We have a house cat. We're not worried about the house cat. And then we have this. What is this? What is this? This is whatever that one thing was. That's a coon. Are you stinking kidding me? This is a coon. Because look how long his fingers are. We have every predator in the world here. And they're all after the same thing. Which is my eggs and my chickens. I bet these eggs are gone. I bet the I bet these eggs are gone. I knew it wasn't the chickens that killing all the eggs. Yep, they are. What would what, you say? I knew it. I literally knew this. We done a video not too long ago, you know, checking out, um, uh, seeing what was killing the eggs. And we just seen chickens pecking at them, which no, the chickens shouldn't be pecking at them. But I, I literally knew it wasn't the chickens that's doing all this. Because now as we come back in here, look, the nest is completely raided and gone. There was, there's like six or seven eggs right there. And he sat right there and ate them. This is a coon. 100%. We have the track. I knew it wasn't crazy. I really did. Anyways, guys, I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. So me and Adam, we're actually going out to track to supply. Uh, I'm going to get a giant live trap and maybe bait it with a chicken. Maybe Bonnie. We're going to try to catch the fox live if we can before, you know, we just go out and trap it with steel traps. Worst case scenario, guys, if we don't catch him in a day or two, we'll bring out the steel traps. We'll catch the fox. But if it's possible, I'd like to catch him in a cage trap. Also, it's super hard to, like, catch him in a cage trap. So, like, I'd kind of like to try it. I think I can do it. Just saying. But whenever I say we'll bait it up with a chicken, these traps are, like, designed. They have a special cage where you can put bait in there, which would be a chicken. And the fox isn't going to be able to kill the chicken in the cage. He's just going to be able to look at it. And then as for the coon, 
soon. Definitely need to take care of him. We'll do that in the next video. We'll probably do that extremely soon. We'll get them both, guys. I promise we will get them both. The war on predation has not begun. It's begun like three years ago, but it continues. Okay, let's go to tractor supply. We may buy some chicks for bait. I don't know. Is that cruel? I don't know. Maybe. But we gotta try to catch a fox. That's number one priority. They may have been small, but I swear they didn't you didn't up. He has no idea what's on this. <laughs> no flag photography. <laughs> Pay for that, right? Yeah. I, I gotta sign a non disclosure agreement. He makes cool videos though. You gotta let him do it. Alright, let's see what we got. We're in tractor supply. Here we got one for a coon. Uh, oh sorry. Is this what we need? I don't think this is big enough. Seventy bucks. Seventy bucks. Okay, yeah, maybe that's not the option we're looking for. This ain't even the one we're wanting either. We're wanting one that's even bigger. Is it bigger than a raccoon? Kinda. We want one with a cage right here so we could put a chicken, but this one just don't have it. I that, right there. Yeah, that's where it was. Yeah, $172. I think we'll take a hard pass on that one. Oh, what's a fertile cat? A feral cat. What's that? <laughs> it's just a wild cat. See, $172. What, expensive? Yeah. That is too expensive, honestly. Look, here's a mouse. Oh. <laughs> See if you could bite yourself. Can you bite your arm? We just put it on Sheba. She don't even do anything wrong. Right. <laughs> no, what would this be? Oh, that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> we gotta do something about this fox, and right now this is kind of looking like our only option. How big is the fox? I don't know, he's a pretty good sized fox. Probably full grown red. Will you not fit in here? Mm. You don't have the cage for the to put the live bait. Also, is it worth 70 bucks? That's what well, that's the hard part. Just saying, Grey Gang, if you don't know me, I'm kind of a cheapo. Kind of a tight wad. Except when it comes to guns. Except when it comes to guns. That's pretty accurate. This is only $32. 32? For two traps. But it's not as thick as that one. It's not as big. Do we get this for 70 bucks? It's on you. What are we looking for? A giant cage trap? Yeah. Because they don't even have the real giant ones here. They're 172. Can't afford that, dude. Break the bank. Buy a gun with that. Oh, my Atlanta. What we got? Bring it over here. What are you trying to kill with that? That's dude. Break somebody's finger. Yeah. I heard that people can catch possums with those. The one we're looking at is still $174. Right. Mm. You can't get any cheaper. No. Unless we bought this one and handmade a cage to go in the back. Quite good. Here, let's pull it off and look at it. Oh, gosh. That's it. It's a big trap, dude. Yeah. Goodness, dude. That should catch a coyote, but... I think it catches a coyote, yeah. It's big enough, dude. Let's set it down. Pretty wide, dude. Here you go. Let's set it. Back to my old days. I like it. Huh? I like this. What? That's all you, dude. All I like to say is kennelgrade1.com slash shop. Or first link in the description. Pick up the Roger Raccoon shirt and the socks. And because you did that. I think it means we're going to get it. I think it does too. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can't, if you don't go first link in the description, man, we can't buy this. We're taking it back. Roger Raccoon. We're buying this. And we're going to get the chicks for bait. Kind of. It sounds really bad, but the chicks are going to survive, okay? We're just using them for bait overnight. These are looking kind of small. I don't think they'll survive very long at all. Because they still have a heat lamp here. I don't think. I think if we keep them, they'll have to have a heat lamp. And I don't know if a fox is going to be attracted to a cage with a heat lamp on it. It may be a major turn off for them. I tell you what, boys. I think we. I think we. I think we let Bonnie take one for the team. The one chicken we have left. She's not going to die. She's going to be in a cage by herself. But yeah, these guys are too small. I think we hit them back. Let's get started. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. All right, Adam, you be getting the cardboard off that thing. We have the cage right here for the chicken. I'll be going and getting the chicken somehow. That may not be the easiest task. You just take that off and, you know, be getting used to it or whatever. Now, this chick, I actually may need your help on the chicken. I've not been eating the grass, have they? There's only one. Yeah, you need a goat. Get in the cage and be that there is unfortunately bait. It looks cool. Yeah, it's, it fits nice. I don't know, man. It's kind. Of, I think it's kind of a toss up. Toss up. It's one of these. One of these. 
Coin flip. It'll be close. I'm gonna put the chicken in there. I'm taking him out in the morning, putting him back in the lot, let him loose for like a day or two. Then we'll take him back, put him back in there for one night. We're not gonna keep him longer than one night at a time. I mean, he's gotta eat and drink and lay eggs too. So even though she doesn't realize it just yet, this kinda has to happen. Otherwise, uh, she's gonna die. She can thank me later. About as real bait as you can get. She'll settle down here later. She's just kind of trying to figure out what in the world is going on. I don't blame her though. Well, that chicken's not going to die at all. No chance. Unless like a hundred pound coon rips that cage apart. There's no way he's going to do that. But a fox, there's no way a fox is going to get in there and do anything to that chicken. Except scare it to death. Yeah, all yeah. she's got to do is close her eyes. But we're actually going to fix it up out there in the field to where it's going to help her a lot. We're going to put a big sheet over her to where the only way anything can see the chicken is by going through the front door. That'll really help us catch it too. All right, now let's scout a spot. We want a spot where it's kind of like, kind of like a cubby. That's, that's the trick, guys. Number one trick with live trap cages. You want them to make it look like a natural cave, a natural cubby. That means like, like, well, like a cave. There's only one entrance and everywhere else is dark. That's the key. So we want it somewhere where it's hard to get to it from the other side. I think this is pretty cool. If we can get a flat spot right there, we can put some stuff behind it, throw leaves on top. Should be good. The gnats are awful, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see them. Just look closely. Goodness. Oh gosh, this is bad. Let's do this quick. Go ahead and grab Bonnie. I'll grab some of the fabric we just pulled off of my, I don't know, $10 peep line thing. I built like two years ago. You get Bonnie, I'll get the I'll get the fabric and we'll hook her up. Oh, that's a, that's a huge cage, dude. That's so much bigger than everything I've ever seen used before. All right, so we'll try to set it hopefully right back in there if possible. If it don't fit, we'll move some stuff around. Like that? I mean, like, on in there even more. I'm going to set y'all up on the mule, and we're going to do a little time lapse, because this might take a second. Me and Adam's got to camouflage this in really good. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's good. Okay, we're finally done. It could have probably been a little bit better, like, you know but we done the best we could. More time would have done better, but and it's, it's extremely hot. It hits like 90 degrees. But whenever you look in there, the most important things we've done is we covered it up so it looks like a natural cubby, especially at night. And then right here on the floor where the fox will be walking on, it'll, it's leaves. That way it won't trigger him whenever he's walking on a barricade. But that right there, that's what we're going to do, guys. We'll come back tomorrow. If we don't have anything tomorrow, we'll just take the chicken back and let her roam free for a day or two. Then, unfortunately, kind of bring her back until we get the fox. Okay, guys, it's actually the next day. We didn't get anything last night, unfortunately. The cage is still open. You can hear the chicken back there going crazy because she doesn't know what's going on. She hears us and she knows that's not what she's used to, but the plan is that I'm not going to leave her in here more than a day. And it's been a day, so I'm just going to come in here, take the thing off the back, unroll it the best I can. And now, I'm actually going to take this chicken back, put her in the cage for about a day or two, and then bring her back for bait again and see if we can get the fox. We'll only keep her in here like a day at a time. You're going to have to drive, so get ready. Okay. Here she is. I'll hold the chicken while you drive back. <laughs> Parking brake's over there. Where? Down there by your butt. I didn't drove one of these, I guess. And you can back us up and do whatever you want to. Me and Bonnie's just gonna sit here and chill. Just close your eyes, Bonnie. Just close your eyes. There you go. It's alright, Bonnie. Chill. Chill. Oh. Now, this will be your home for hopefully the rest of your life. We just may use you a few times to uh, catch a fox. That's not good. Huh? What? Your camera's like too bright. Is it? Yeah. Let's see. I can't see nothing. Thanks for watching. If you want some awesome merch, go to kindergarten1.com slash shop and hit the like, subscribe button. Hashtag you just hashtag